Nagsimula na ang public interviews ng JBC o ng Judicial and Bar Council sa ilang nominee sa pagiging Associate Justice ng Supreme Court. Yan po ang pwestong iniwan ni Chief Justice Maria Lourdes Sereno noong naging pinuno siya ng Korte Suprema. Live mula sa Supreme Court, my report, si Joseph Morong. Joseph? Jessica, labing lima yung mga kandidato sa pagka-associate justice ng Korte Suprema. Pero tatlo dyan ay uh, dati nang na-interview ng JBC sa posisyon naman dati ng Chief Justice. Parang ngayong araw na ito, Jessica, ay apat ang sumalang sa public interview ng JBC. Matapos sumalang sa parehong public interview, pagkakataon naman ni Supreme Court Chief Justice Maria Lourdes Sereno na pamunuan ng Judicial and Bar Council o JBC bilang chairman nito. Ang misyon, ang humanap ng kapalit niyang Associate Justice na binakante niya ng i-appoint siya ni Pangulong Aquino bilang punong maestrado. Noong una ay hindi ito binuksan ng JBC sa publiko pero nagbago ito ng isip kahapon. I think there was a ano, misimpression that uh, the, the new Chief Justice, I think, uh, thought that since there was no uh, there has to be a request mm -hmm. no uh, there has to be a request and since there was no attempt on the part of the of the media sector to to request for another live coverage uh yun yung impression but There was, no one was averse to a, to a public coverage. Labing lima ang kandidato pero apat muna ang sumalang ngayong araw. Gabi lang si Court of Appeals Justice Ramon Bato Jr., CA Justice Rosemary Carandang, Dating University of Perpetual Help System Law Dean Jose Santos Bisquera, Asandigan Bayan Justice Maria Cristina Cornejo. Natanong ang mga nominado tungkol sa ilang kontrobersyal na issue tulad ng framework agreement sa pagitan ng gobyerno at more Islamic Liberation Front. May I ask what your views are on the framework agreement between the Bank Samoro and the government of the Republic of the Philippines, the MILF rather? If that's the only way to attain uh, peace in Mindanao so that we can uh, develop the area, then this uh, we should uh, support the... Have you read the provisions? It's a very short uh, framework agreement. Well, uh, uh, candidly, Your Honor, I have uh, not read. You don't find anything constitutionally objectionable to the framework agreement? No, Your Honor. I believe that Article 10, when it defined the autonomous regions for Muslim Mindanao and Cordillera, that word autonomous uh, region for Muslim Mindanao would cover the so-called so -called Bangsamoro substate. At cybercrime law na kinikwestiyon ng legalidad sa Korte Suprema ngayon. Libel, even without that uh, cyber law, is already punished under, uh, ex under the revised uh, penal code. You go back, Your Honor, to the concept of libel which is really the loss of the reputation of the person. But in our reproductive health bill or RH bill, the Constitution protects the life of the unborn. The unborn. And therefore, we have to define when does life start. I am for the passage of the RH bill. Pero may pagkakataong personal ang tanong sa mga kandidato, tulad na lamang kung bakit single pa rin daw si Sandigan Bayan Justice Cornejo. Siguro, ay, nakalimutan na. At besides, wala naman pinadala ang Panginoon. Uh, Di ba? Yeah. Uh, know ang paniwala ko eh. I don't, I don't need to go out and look for Him. Yeah. He has to look for me. Yeah. And He hasn't found me. Nobody has found me. Yeah. And I'm now 61. Yeah. Oh. Tinanong rin si Cornejo kung ano ang gagawin niya kung ma-appoint ito bilang Associate them. Justice sa mga batiko sa Korte Suprema. Would you be willing to be hit by uh, many people, uh, the traditional media, social media, friends, because you're taking a, uh, a very unpopular decision vis-a-vis -vis uh, the, the rights of a certain person. I'm not willing, but I will accept. So Webes, sa salang naman ng walong iba pang kandidato, kabilang si government chief negotiator Marvick Lonen. Jessica, yung tatlo na dati na nominate bilang Chief Justice at hindi na sa salang sa public interviews for AJ ay itong sila De La Salle College of Law Dean Jose Manuel Jocno, si dating Ateneo Law School Dean Cesar Villanueva at saka si SEC Chair Teresita Erbosa. November 5 daw, sabi ng JBC, sila magbabotohan para makapagbuo ng shortlist para sa Associate Justice na ibibigay nila sa Pangulo, Jessica. Joseph, yung mga na-interview na dati for the position of uh, Chief Justice sana, Ah, hindi na i-interviewin dito sa round na ito. 
Hindi na po ma'am kasi medyo, medyo malapit lang yan. Okay, August lang nagkaroon ng appointment for uh, CJ. So parang alam na naman nila yung uh, competence noong tatlo na sumalang for CJ ship before. So parang uh, to save time also. So hindi na sila sasala ngayon for purposes of uh, associate justice position, Jessica. Okay, nagtataka lang ako na walang nagtanong tungkol sa salen o natanong ba yan? Hindi lang natin naisama sa storya. Ma'am, wala po talaga nagtanong at uh, we don't know if this uh, occupies the mind of uh, the members of the JBC panel. So, pero what, uh, for this batch at least, no, ay hindi siya natanong. Ang natanong ay yung mga burning issues of the day, so to speak, yung cybercrime law, framework agreement, and then uh, death penalty and even yung RH bill, Jessica. Okay, interesting. Kasi ang nagbunsod ng lahat ng ito ay yung pagkakatanggal sa dating Chief Justice ng Supreme Court because of his sal-en, di ba? Mm -hmm. And that goes to the heart of transparency sa Supreme Court, no? Yes. Um, but meron naman tayong Thursday, so we can bring it up with uh, Professor Mejia, uh, sa representative of the academe. So uh, we'll see kung uh, maitatanong nila yan finally dun sa second batch. Anyway, walo yun eh. So mas maraming batch yun. That will include uh, itong si uh, government peace negotiator Marvick Leonard, Jessica. Okay. At hindi lang siguro sa alin, pati honesty, uh, transparency, hidden wealth, di ba? Etc. Tama, kasi parang kumbaga ngayong panahon na ito ay nagbibuild ulit ng uh, trust at saka credibility, so to speak, no yung Supreme Court. So it's important that yung mga papasok ay uh, may have a semblance of uh, credibility or at least a mission to change the image of the Supreme Court by okay. their example. Jessica. Yes, nakalimutan ko yung that all important word, integrity. Importante din yun. Yes, Maraming salamat, yes, Joseph Morong.